Day two, bike pack in Spain. Chris. Francis. You look sunburnt. So riding out of Cartagena today. It is freezing cold, but we know it's gonna be warm in a few minutes, so that's why we're only wearing gilets. We promised each other that we wouldn't leave too early today because, well, it warms up very quickly and becomes shorts and jersey weather, but we can't help but wake up early. In any case, I think we're gonna be warming up quickly because that is a big mountain and there's a road going up it and we are about to cycle up it. I just leave. Minus the, the grudge moment at about three o'clock in the morning. Mormon? <laughs> three o'clock in the morning where the TV just turned on really, really loud quite well. The loudest Spanish man was shouting at us like, in the middle of the night. He was like, no bueno. Literally 3 a.m. The TV just goes full on. Your reaction was just, huh? Chris. Chris. <laughs> First 10K done. Um, what a reward. This is the most beautiful national park you've ever seen. We have two of these on today's ride. A little bit shorter than yesterday, but more climbing. So we've got like 80K, uh, but over a thousand meters of elevation. A lot of it is gonna be right now. The man at the hotel looked at our route and just went, you will find mountain. <laughs> so we will find mountain. They're, yeah. in, they're in front of us. He gave a really good nod of approval, didn't he? And then also told us about a route from the south of Spain to the top of France. And said, don't do it on those bikes. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but keen. Yeah, keen. Gravel, gravel route. Gravel route, yeah. There's a windmill. Look at that. I thought the climb was done. Why are we going up again? But we've got a big down. They'll drop you on the descent. Yeah, gravity. Gravity? Yeah. I think Chris has finally admitted. I've been saying this all day yesterday. My bike's a lot heavier than his which is unfair. Do you want to swap, swap yeah. bags? Nah, I can't uh, mount them onto mine, thankfully. Admittedly, it is kind of my fault. I've taken quite a few creature comforts on the uh, bikepacking trip this time, including a computer mouse, a shaver, a computer, proper shoes, instead of weird little rock pool shoes that you've got. I love them. Hey, there's a reason why I take them. It's like you're racing an ultra. Who, me? Chris is, Chris is packed like he's racing an ultra. This is the slickest bike setup ever. And I've just gone, well, I've brought everything I own. You've got, you've got, you've got uh, dad touring. This is what it's about. Dad tour. I've packed for time off the bike, not time on the bike. I'm gonna start calling you Basil. do a hamburger pizza. Oh, get it on order. There's a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. When you haven't got a helmet on and you wear cycling glasses, you look kind of like you should be at a rave. I might just start wearing them all the time. Or you look like you should be a ski man. A ski instructor. Yeah. You guys running tubeless, please. Yes. Was that a request? You ready for this real sketch looking tunnel? Which one? There's three. You've got a backlight. Yeah, I've got a front. We've got backlights. Tunnel! I do. I think I've been here. Um, You've been here? Exactly here. Why? One, one of these little lanes. I think it's from a. Uh, Badlands? Burp. Yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure. We're kind of going into the, the Badlands area of Spain. So we're now on the biggest climb of the day, switchbacks and everything. We've been caught by multiple people, but those people, they haven't got luggage. They're not real people either. They're virtual partners. Virtual partners? Yeah. Uh, that thing on Garmin, that yeah, I don't exactly. understand. No. <laughs> I think three more behind us, three in front of us. Oh, 
So it's like, oh yeah, it's loads. Yeah, and wow, the tons come and they're the all smashing it. Yeah, I wonder like what a, they're doing, like a race or something, some like sort a of TT training, training cap thing. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Once we got to the top of this, we're basically on a lovely, completely downhill running to the finish. Most of it's like minus one percent, but it's still nice. A bit of roly polies in the bottom. <sighs> what? Yes, yeah, so I thought we'd for this now. Right. No, yeah, leave it, leave it running because extra case. You've lost your bike, mate. That's the end of the trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one's his? <laughs> it's taller than I thought, though, Francis. I think they had like a support car and they were on like a proper training camp. Yeah, yeah, we need a support car. Where's Jimmy when you need him, eh? I wouldn't have to carry all your iPad and stuff. I really need the iPad. We had a support car. I'm glad that climb is considered big. Because I thought it was a proper climb when we were on it. So we have ridden this day a lot quicker than we thought we were going to. It's only 2.45 and we are nearly at Aguilas. 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 Once we get there, it'll be a nice chance to get the laptop out, get some editing done, get on top of some work stuff. Because, uh, believe it or not, I still actually have to do my job while I'm out here. So, love emails. What emails? Do you reckon one day emails will be finished and it would just be WhatsApp that everyone uses? Potentially, actually. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, shit, scooter. <laughs> There's a bike ramp bit. Oh, oh it's really steep. Oh. <laughs> We're in a Just an observation here. Whenever you ask to bring bikes into your hotel room, which is a very handy thing to do when you're bike packing because it means you haven't got to take all of these bags off your bike and then faff around with them in the morning, like carrying them and putting them back on the bike downstairs. For some reason, all the hotels, even the ones that let you, always say, oh, but the room's a bit small. You might not fit the bikes in. Look at the size of this room. It's so far away. <laughs> how, how is there not room in here? Hangers. Oh, lovely. Palm trees. Oh, nice. And a sea. Ah, oh, nice. And a pyramid with a tiger's face on it. What? That I'm interested in. Wow. <laughs> nice. Lunch, Francis. It's a Spanish thing, yeah. It's 1.30 till 4. Dinner starts at 8. I forgot my toothbrush, so um, Chris bought me a new one as a present. Um, it was a pretty sick Peppa Pig one, apparently the choice between this and Spider-Man, so... I'm happy with your choice, Chris. 